Alright guys, welcome to the 2018 Toyota TRD Off-Road Premium Edition. In today's video, I want to do a quick overview of the, some of the features that I really like about this vehicle. I want to touch on some of the things I've done so far with the vehicle, some of the things I still want to do to it. Let's discuss why I purchased a 2018 Forerunner at the end of 2018 and didn't wait for 2019 or the updated version of 2020 is coming out shortly. The last thing I want to discuss is about dealing with Coons of Annapolis, the price I've received, the buying experience that I had with them, and then I also want to touch on the price change that Toyota put out um, coming from May of 18 and June of 18 to their forerunners. It's a $200 difference between those two months. We'll get into that shortly. All right, stick around for the review. It's coming. All right, so I'm filming on the A7 III with a 16 to 35 right now. Have a little GoPro action too. Some of the gimbal stuff, it's gonna be all GoPro. Uh, going right inside the car, best view. I find a stabilization. Uh, I'm trying on just uh, HD right now, not the 4K. Hopefully it'll be more stable with the um, what the camera provides. But if you don't care about cameras, let's get this truck. One thing I've already done already, since we're already here, is blocked out this front. Yes, I plasti dip, I'm sorry. A lot of folks hate that out there. Uh, I am gonna probably get the overlays and redo all this. Um, look better in the front and the back. I'm trying to work on Coons of Annapolis to come through with a at cost deal. Coons hooked me up. All right, we're up front are here already. What I've done so far is replace the halogen bulbs and the fog lights, daytime running lights, and the high beams to LEDs. Drastic difference. I recommend anyone, and I'll put down the links below of the ones I use off of Amazon, and they all worked fine. Now, they may bust in a couple of days, but they're all working right now, so I put them in last night. It is hot today. Especially with the fog lights, huge difference with the brightness. One thing also I want to note, and I'll show you with a uh, clip here in a second. This is the way you can go underneath the car and get to the, the fog lights. You don't have to go take, let me show you. You don't have to take this off right here. Just go underneath the car, put your head under there, go underneath and you can get right to them. It was so much easier than risking breaking anything, any plastic off the back end. Right underneath, give a little turn. And this side was a little bit harder than most because you had to work around a little bit. Took an extra two minutes to get through, not a big deal. But I've always loved the front of this truck and I hope they don't change it much for 2020. Just the aggressiveness of it, it's awesome. All right, let's talk about the wheels. I like the wheels. I would like the uh, TRD Pro wheels. I tried to get that to work in, the deal didn't work out. Probably because I worked on price before I worked on freebies, but maybe down the road we'll get some TRD Pro wheels. Thought about um, making those black with the other plasti dip stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So we'll probably keep those the same. All right, so we should uh, black this out maybe, see what it looks like when we do that. And with overlays, and we'll probably black this off too with overlays also in the back here. So the silver part in the back, a lot of folks will uh, wrap that black. Uh, not yet. I'm gonna wait off and hold off on that. So let's look at the back. Big trunk, big trunk in the back. A lot of room, fold the mats down, you have plenty of space. Uh, if you wanna haul stuff around, push that down, put a tarp back here. It's like a flatbed of a truck. Now, one thing back here that I really liked that uh, most folks, I guess, don't really get around to, to looking at is that this bench seat right here. Now, what's cool about this is that you, it's good level. You just sit down like this and the speakers are right above your head. So it provides good surround sound as your tailgate at your favorite sporting event or whatever you want to do. But it's, it's one of the features that you don't notice until you get back here and you sit down and relax, pop a cold one, and you're like, oh, that's nice. All right, Woo. much better. Excuse me. One thing I was really concerned about in my deal and what I was not going to buy for 2020 or I was going to buy for 2020 uh, was this. This is, 
a dinosaur. This is old technology, right? Um, the Camry, Highlander, all other Toyotas have already knocked this out to make this a lot more of the newer technology with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that type of stuff. Not here yet. To Toyota, come on. I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna be really disappointed in this system here. Now my other car uh, is an Acura and or Honda pretty much and use that interface and actually after using this for a while it's it's pretty good it's it sounds well for uh, I wouldn't say pretty basic stereo it's not a JBL uh, it sounds fine it's got um, HD radio it's got XM all that stuff you kind of like but it's just the interface seems to it's kind of plain Jane but it seems to work pretty well um, the address like when you want to go uh, for navigation I know in I have a 14 MDX and it might have changed uh, is that when you when I put an address in, you have to say the city, say the street, say the number, uh, if you're going to do the voiceover. Or you got to plug it in like over the screen. This seems to work well when you hit the button and you give a location. I will try to do it live here. Let's see. Hit the little button here. Okay. How may I help you? Address. For directions to an address, please say the full address, including the city and the state or province, without the zip code. That's where I grew up. I heard 1419 North Park Lakes Drive, Covington, Louisiana. Is that correct? Correct. Would you like to navigate directly to this destination? So no. All right, so it works, and that's pretty fast. To say the address and put it in now, it, does it always work? No, I had trouble with this a few times going through this. Uh, I'll show you the good one. But yeah, sometimes it doesn't work correctly, but it does work, and it's a lot faster than most. You can Yelp and then find the address that way and link it that way. So you do have good apps in here that you can use. Uh, it's not very plain Jane. It's not as plain Jane as I thought it was going to be. Uh, the instrument panel is fine. Uh, I do like the fact it's got the little car here where you turn your wheels and it shows you which wheels direction is good for off-road. Of course with your TRD Pro you have basically it's very hard to get this vehicle stuck anywhere. You have your standard real true four-wheel drive. You have crawl control, crawl control. You have your train selector here. Um, so when you get into the, a bind, when you get deep stuff in that sand and acetique, you can lock it, uh, do a crawl out of it and get out of there. So I'm looking forward to try that when I do get over to Acetique Beach. I hope they don't change much. I, uh, I hope they redo this whole interior, yes? Of course, make it more JBL, more up to date, Android Auto, CarPlay, all that kind of stuff, yes. Totally that redone. So let's move on to why I bought this car in 2018. This is the end of the cycle, right? So normally the best cars you're gonna get are toward the end of the cycle. They've had all the issues, they have all the problems looked over, they fixed everything that they know they could fix. So this should be a solid car that lasts a long time. Yes, a Toyota anyway, but this is a solid car because they've knocked all the kinks. If I wait for the 2020 to come out, there's gonna be no deals right away. Uh, and then you have your beta issues with any type of new vehicle, they're gonna have problems. So I said, hey, let's get it now. Great deal. Three or four years from now when that car is actually on sale again and I can get a good deal, maybe I'll get the new one. And some of the bugs have worked out. But for right now, I'm gonna keep this bad boy as long as I can because why? It's a Toyota and it can be. Another thing I wanna talk about was the change in price. And it wasn't much, it was, it was 200 bucks increase from the manufacturer. I saw it on both stickers. I was debating between a blue one and a black one. Same exact options, except uh, floor mats or whatever. But the manufactured suggested price up top before any type of uh, added features were added was $200 different from the manufacturer. And I checked the, the, the date of the blue one, which was May of 16, I'm sorry, May of 18. And I checked this one, which is the black one, it was June of, of 18. So one month difference, and they bumped it up to 200 bucks. And I'm not sure if that's because of the threat of tariffs, all this other stuff going on in the news about maybe to be increasing prices of their trucks and everything else. But I did see a 200 buck increase. Now, 
that was taken care of through the deal I got, so I'm not too worried about that, but it was something to note, something to ponder. I'm not sure if uh, a lot of dealers, manufacturers do this throughout the year. If you do know where they do increase the prices of their cars a little bit uh, as they go, let me know. I thought they kind of set a standard price for that whole, uh, whole model year, and if they're going to change the price, it'll be the following year. I guess not. So, I'm going to get out the car, walk around a little bit, and talk about the price. And All right. So, I dealt with Coons of Annapolis. Now, when I buy a car, I love the buying experience. I think that the, the deal is just as important as the vehicle you purchase. That's just me. I dealt with uh, Ali over at Coons of Annapolis. Great guy. He was new to uh, to Coons, so it was it was actually a very enjoyable experience uh, dealing with someone who's also learning the process too. Uh, that way, he, there wasn't much a lot of sales pressure on actually buying today and how to get the deal today, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what I like about from a salesperson is someone that is um, knows about the vehicle that you're really interested in, can show you, show you all the features. Uh, kind of find out what you want in a car. I like someone who's possibly going to be sort of, now I'll say sort of on your side so that you get the best deal you can get. But we all know that they're working for the company. They have to make the most money they can off the vehicle they want to sell. And it's my job as a customer to buy it for as least as amount of money as I can. So hope, that's why I hope there's a happy medium right there. We can come to an agreeable price point. So right now there are incentives on the on the on the four runners, uh, 750 back from the manufacturer. So I took advantage of that. There hasn't been that many uh, cash rebates on four runners in a long time. So I was also able to get a decent price deal from uh, from Coons, and I didn't really know how good of a deal it was until I went to another dealership down south. Um, so they promised they could beat the price if I came on down. So I went down to this other other dealership. I'm not going to mention by name. Um, but they switched sales reps on me. They switched managers on me as soon as I walked in, uh, so it didn't go well. They couldn't even match the price that Coons offered, which I was pretty surprised about, because most dealers will match other dealers' prices, and I had it in writing what their price was, uh, and they wouldn't match it. So I had left there easily. Uh, they were good about it. They paid for my gas for coming down, but it still wasted uh, about two hours of my time or more. So what I also do is I take uh, my vehicle that I wanted to trade in and I go over to CarMax and I get and I look around at the cars they have out there and I bought from CarMax before. But CarMax is a different experience when you get into that. You go to CarMax because you want zero pressure, you want zero games, you just want to buy the car at a certain price and never think about it again. And that's why you go to CarMax. So I went there Got a, good, uh, a trading value of my car to CarMax, and uh, the price was not good. It was not as much as Kuhn was offering for my vehicle. So the price was uh, was was solid. Now I know that my trade is solid, uh, the, what I'm getting value for my trade. So it wasn't the, the deal that I wanted, but I was probably pushing too hard and hoping for a miracle. So I took the deal over at Kuhn's. They were straightforward the entire time with me. Um, never felt that I was playing games with them. I tried to get a little bit more out of them at the end. They wouldn't budge. Uh, so that's where we sat. So if you do me a favor, if you go and you purchase a car and you head over to Coons in Minneapolis, they did not pay me for any of this. Uh, they actually said, asked them if I could put their name on my video. They said, it's fine, it's great. Uh, can, I ask, can I tell them the price I got? They said, please don't. So I won't let you know the price that they gave me for this thing. Uh, but if you go over there, ask for Ali, great guy. Tell them if you do go over there, the only reason why you're there is because of this video. Maybe they'll let me do another one for them. Actually, they will give me a little bit of something. Um, but I would love some overlays. You know that, right? I'm still waiting for the overlays.